When you need to execute a git command directly, but have trouble remembering the exact command line syntax to do so, the git lens extension can help you out. Here I'm going to open up the command palette and run git commands. And when I do this, you'll see that the git lens extension is presenting a list of the top level git commands here. So these are all the top level operations. And some of these are operations that VS Code can actually help you with in its UI. So VS Code has UI for changing branches, for example. But what the git lens extension is doing here, if I select branch, is creating an experience that more closely matches the command line and walking you through step-by-step uh, step all of the operations. So here I'm going to create a new branch. I'm going to select which branch I'm going from, so master in this case. And I'm going to enter the name of my new branch. And then I'm going to create the branch and switch over to it. So you can see that that experience more closely matches the command line arguments there, but it's walking you through everything in a visual way. This can be really helpful when you're dealing with more complex commands. So for example, let's do a cherry pick. And I'm going to cherry pick from this the next branch, which is our documentation, the next version of our documentation. And you'll see that for cherry picking here, the git lens extension is actually presenting me a list of all of the uh, commits that I can cherry pick over. So um, I can select these individually. I can say I want to cherry pick these ones over and then do this and I can cherry pick them or I can cherry pick them and then edit them later. And I can also move forward and backwards through these commands just using the little arrow up here. The git lens git commands command can be really helpful. It provides a visual interface to the git command line. 